Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the championship week. It's pretty much every league in all of collegiate esports is having their finals this week, or they already had them this past weekend. If you follow uh, Nace Varsity Premier, they had their LAN playoffs or the LAN finals over at Boise State University, all the way out there, out west. So we are here, though, gathered at at least London Valley College for our players as they await University of Cincinnati Z and in the, the NACE Varsity Plus East 4 Finals. Very excited to get into this one. This team is the only team that LVC has played since, it's the only team that LVC has played in NACE competition that has taken a map off of them. So something that will be really big to note for later on is everyone else in this conference, in this in this division, if you want to call it that, has been either 3-0'd or 4-0'd by Lebanon Valley. And that is something that is really interesting that I am Oh, I am doubled Mike. Apologies, my uh, my production is just broken some days. I, I it's very unfortunate, but we are good to hopefully good to go as uh, just waiting for the side of our University of Cincinnati to hop in here. And if you have been following this Lebanon Valley team, they are at the moment have been showing pretty well, at least in NACE play. Again, as I had mentioned, they 3-0'd or 4-0'd in the last playoff matchup. Everyone that they have come across, except for this University of Cincinnati roster, while they still won that, that series, it is something that's worth noting as it was pretty close last time around, at least in terms of most of the games. I think there was a 5-2 in there somewhere, but outside of that one, there was, it was pretty much all one score games. And that is something that you really need to keep track of. And actually, I lied. Uh, it was 5-2 game one, 5-0 game two. Then in game three, that's where they dropped their map, two to one over to UC. And game four was also a one score game, but it was five to four. Something that's also worth noting, actually, never mind, it's not a sub. I, I, I When I saw the names earlier, uh, I did think that there was a sub playing, but there actually is not. This is the same Cincinnati roster that did in fact play against LVC. So we are, we should be in for a pretty solid game. And let's transition. Ladies and gentlemen, the finals of the Nace Varsity Plus East 4 Division, London Valley, Cincinnati. We'll see who goes the distance here. Remember, best of seven. So you have to go to win four games as opposed to three, as you would typically see during the regular season. We have Frenchy here looking for the reset, decides not to use it. Let's that one back for Bichette, but Lord Guillermo on the contest, but it doesn't matter. Almost gets that all the way through the back of the net. As all we see, starting off strong on the offensive end. See Frenchie lobbing that one down to Samus, giving him a lot of space to work with. Sending it up to Machettes off the backboard. Is Samus there? No. So all we see, we'll have to find another way to get through the back of that net. But already the offense showing its strides here. A lot of passing, a lot of demoing. LVC are very aggressive on the ball, and that's exactly what you really need to do if you are Lemon Valley. It's almost a slot there from Frenchie. But so far, Cincinnati showing up on the defensive side. And some would say defense wins you championships, but there still needs to be some form of offense if you are Cincinnati. And I will apologize in advance for the logo. Uh, unfortunately, Cincinnati's logo is black and red and I can't change the background color, so that's just how it is. But Samus will be the first one to put one through. Lebanon Valley on the board first in this grand final. Frenchy off the side of the wall. Over to Samus, capitalizes on the pass. And that is an early lead, and that's something you may end up seeing here often. If you remember, as I mentioned, game number one of this series, the last time they played all the way at the end of the regular season, Lebanon Valley won game one five to zero, and then they won game two five to two. You can't have that sort of loss if you are Cincinnati. You cannot allow that to happen once again. Sim Samus shot not quite on target. Second shot also not on target. So no follow through as Ezio on the ball, trying to get a good clean touch off the wall. Looking for a power shot there, but doesn't get all of the ball that he wanted. As Guillermo forced into a bit of a Essentially save there. As there's one high player ready to put that one through the back of the net. Now 50 out mid. Ezio on ball. 
but he puts it a bit far ahead of himself. He's just gonna have to send this one away. Good bump. Escav looking for something, doesn't get the angle. Overshoots the ball just a little bit, and that's gonna be the difference between the Cincinnati goal and an LVC lead. Frenchy now back on the attack, looking for someone out mid. Just has to wait for his teammates to get back as Bichette's third man. Looking to keep this one out of his half. As now finally Cincinnati putting together some offense. Shot on target, but a much slower one. That's easily saved by Frenchy. And now look at him fly all the way downfield. I believe ran out of boost there. Did not get that double online. Solid clear there too. From, I believe, Bichette's there. As now Leather Valley just looking to continue holding onto this lead. Sam is actually getting bumped into a really good touch. This could be his, another attack from Leather Valley. They may get another opportunity here. Frenchy all the way up for that one. Ezio contesting. Guillermo launching it at the net, but another save there from Bichette's. Keeps it out of harm's way. And now it's all the way down to Samus looking for that shot off the side wall, but he won't get it. The aggression from LVC, you can see it continuing to put pressure on Cincinnati to make a play, find a way through. And so far, Cincinnati has had no answers for this offensive attack. They just have barely even had any possession of the ball. And when they are, they're getting so many big touches, they can't even get control of it to begin with. We are not seeing a lot of solo plays. We're not seeing a lot of clean, solid passing from Cincinnati. And that's what's keeping them out of getting that first goal in the back of the net. But here's a few passes there. And finally, Cincinnati on the board. And as I was saying it, that's exactly what you need to see from the University of Cincinnati. SGAV down to Etziel. Frenchy not able to get the save there. It's a light touch on it, but just doesn't quite have the angle he would have liked in that moment. As Frenchy letting this one go up to Samus. This is the guy you want with the ball, but a bit of a misplay. The mechanics a bit off there from Samus. As now another shot almost coming through. Cincinnati looking to get aggressive here. Trying to match the pace of Lebanon Valley. Something they struggled a lot with last time around. LVC just running a muck on them in that last series that they did have against the Cincinnati roster. 50 out mid. Samus should be able to contest right here, and he does. Backboard now, but Etziel flies to it, spots the ball, gets to it. It's another good touch there from Ward Guillermo. Gonna give Etziel a chance to shoot, but doesn't take the open opportunity. Tries to get back around, but gets bumped by Escav. Now this is a free one for Bichette. He's gonna take the lead with just nine seconds remaining. A misplay on the side of Cincinnati. You cannot have that play there. Cincinnati bumping into each other, giving LVC the open opportunity. And they're gonna capitalize, take the lead with just a few seconds on the clock, and that might just be it for game number one. Is one more opportunity at CO trying to get something. Escav doesn't get there in time. Samus just gonna let that one go, but SEO does get back to a pinch down, but does not matter. As you can hear, life is a highway from the player tracks there, player anthems there. Take a look, taking a look at the stats. I mean, shots are pretty close to even. Nine from LVC, seven from the or sorry, six. I apologize, I'm gonna be messing up my math all day long, but seven from the side, or six from the side of Cincinnati. I'll get that right eventually. Also the demo category, exactly even. So that's something you want to keep note of as well. Samus already has a chance to get this one through. Good control of the ball there, but ultimately does get contested. Frenchie leaving this one for Bichette after the demo. Up off the backboard, Samus though can't get there in time. And now Escav looking for something, but Frenchy. Solid save there. And now OBC will get all the way back down field. Shot attempt from Samus. Doesn't get there in time. He gets beat to the ball. 
Cincinnati looking to get this one out of their half. Something they've struggled to do all series so far. And look at that pinch from Ezio. Gets the demo too. But somehow it's going to only hit off the top crossbar. No goal for Cincinnati. No one yet in the lead. Now Ezio looking to come back around. Gets another demo to his name. And steals that one away from Samus. Jet's going to have to rotate in from that spawn. Ezio really the point man for the Cincinnati roster. He's been doing a lot of the shooting, and there it is. Ezio rocketing one into the back of the LVC net. Finally, Cincinnati getting another one on the board, getting in the lead. That is a great shot there from Ezio. He's the man, if you are Cincinnati, that you want to see with the ball. Demo comes through onto Lord Guillermo. Ezio now has control, puts a shot on target. Bichette doesn't get there, but actually that was a bit off target as it doesn't land in the back of the net. I thought for sure that was a goal. And Lord Guillermo trying to get the redirect, but actually I think they hit off of Bichette there. And that's gonna land a 2-0 lead for Cincinnati, actually it doesn't hit off Pachette's apologies. I just saw the blue streak and I couldn't tell who it was, but it's actually Samus all the way up front that it goes to. So now it's a 2-0 lead and Cincinnati looking strong here. Looking to get game number one back. Remember, LVC has lost one game all season and it was to this team, but there's a reset available for Samus. Doesn't decide to use it. Now LBC looking to ramp up the pressure once again. Samson doesn't have a lot of boost, so just trying to keep this one in that orange half. Frenchy up for it though. Has the ceiling, get a flip down, but decides against it. Doesn't really have a great angle for it. So finally, LBC looking to get that passing game going. Had a few there. Frenchy bumped now down to Ezio. And he's actually gonna get that one right out to mid. Guillermo though, not gonna get a touch. And Frenchy getting bumped out of the way now by him. Bichette's trying to send that one out mid. Samus trying to keep track of it. And he's gonna do just that. Still two and a half on the clock, but LVC needs to find a way onto the board. This defense from Cincinnati has been incredible so far. Looking like a much better team than what they were before, and they were already a solid squad to begin with. Demo though, now a, shot, a pass down to Frenchy. Doesn't get there in time. Zetsio trying to get something. Escav downfield. Zetsio might be the only man on the ball, and he is just that. Three to zero. Cincinnati putting up numbers right now. Samus not rotated back fast enough. It's been a, a bit of a breakdown here for Lebanon Valley. Down three to zero. Only two minutes on the clock to make it all back up. In a series between two teams like this, goals don't tend to come insanely often. Nancio back downfield once again. Escav looking to cherry pick there, doesn't get it. That's bumps from Ezio on to Frenchy. And they're just both bumping into each other on both sides. Escap though, continuing to keep the ball in the Lebanon Valley half. Ezio does get a reset, but he was flying at a really high speed. Doesn't really have control of his car in that moment. And now Frenchy trying to slide in for the goal, but will not get it. Jets has to head back. Ezio tries to put one on target, but Guillermo is out mid. And this has been all Cincinnati. Not what you want to see from the Dutchman. So far, Cincinnati is making it happen. But again, they are down 1-0 in the series. So this would simply force a game five. But with a minute on the clock, it's looking very much like a Cincinnati game in, in very big fashion too. This is not something that any team has really been able to do to Lebanon Valley. Even in their losses in NECC, they aren't losing games by more than a goal, two goals at a time. 
So seeing one like this is just not something that happens very often. Escav gonna get another on the board. More rotations from Lemon Valley, and all of a sudden, Cincinnati taking over. We're just 40 seconds on the clock. This is gonna be one for Cincinnati. They are going to get game number two. And now we see have a lot of work to do. If they wanna win this game, if they wanna win this series, they have the best of seven ahead of them. And as that number one seeded team, as dominant as they were in the regular season, this is not something you would ever expect to see, especially in a moment like the grand finals. Double four, Samus there almost has it. Or sorry, Bichette's there. Almost has it, but ends up getting blocked. And that'll be Cincinnati taking game number two in commanding fashion. Not something you would expect to see coming into this game, but very solid performance. Look at the demos. Seven from Frenchie, four from Bichette, and two from Samus. Everyone on LVC still contributing shots as well. Just no saves really from London Valley. The same category being the biggest issue there from this team. And they have a lot to work on. If they want to bring this one back, they cannot allow those early goals to take a toll on them, both mentally and, and in game. As the second it start, they start going down by two, three goals, it just spiraled from there. Machette's reset, does pop it, but that was a bit late. Sam's getting bumped as well. Good aggression from Cincinnati. Almost getting a chance to shoot. Actually, they do get one, but Frenchie is off the backboard. Guillermo now looking to slot one through, but Samus is there. Ezio on ball now. Here comes Guillermo. Here comes Ezio. And Bichette's trying to get the save. Ends up putting it into his own net, but I believe that was going to go in regardless. Looked like it was floating down. And it was. So, Bichette's still forced into a touch there and ends up slotting it there. And this has just been all Cincinnati, and Ezio gonna walk a second one in. It's a walk in the park right now for Cincinnati. Simply no stopping them at this point in time, and I don't have many words. This is an incredible performance from Cincinnati, taking that last series that they played against LVC to heart, and putting on a show in this game. LVC need to find one back, and that is just it, Samus! Taking it off kickoff at two straight kickoff goals in game number three. Finally, let the Valley stopping the bleeding. But not until they allow seven straight goals into their own net. That is what you need to get back into it, though. It's Frenchie now looking for the dribble. It's been poked away. But LBC now looking to do what was working at the start. That's playing on ball, getting that team play going as well. Finding each other in the midfield. Jets down. Samus actually just decides to back away from it. Demo onto him. Escav now all the way over to Ezio. Shot, but immediately blocked by, I believe, Frenchy there. And now Samus can start the carry, but Jets getting bumped, but. If you're Cincinnati there, you have to be worried more about what's going into the back of your own net. Finally, Guillermo getting back, just barely in time. That was not the greatest of plays from Guillermo, just constantly going for a bump and almost let his own net get wide on open. Gotta commend the effort of him getting back though. Samus with a redirect, doesn't get on target. Frenchy not gonna get there. Bichette though has the rebound. And Lemon Valley have brought it right back. Good bump there from Samus too. Not that, I don't think Guillermo would've been able to get back into the play, but either way, just making sure he doesn't get anywhere near that ball. And that's been the style of Cincinnati. Always have one on ball. Even if it's not a good touch, it does not matter. As long as someone's on ball, you can either get a bump or you can get a touch. You can do something. You can disrupt the offense. LVC very heavy on the presence with the ball in their hands. 
That's Yelp looking for his own shot, but ends up getting blocked at, at the goal line. Frenchie, a bit of trouble there. Here comes Ezio, shot on target. No one can get him in the net fast enough. Samus was, or sorry, I believe Michelle, Samus was there, but did not get the turn around fast enough. Ezio sending that one into the top middle of the net. And Cincinnati reclaim their lead. Whiff there, could have been dangerous, but Ezio again, this has been the star for the Cincinnati squad, putting another one on target, top right corner. No one in net for LBC. I'm not sure where the rotations were there, but Shet's trying to get a touch out, gets picked by Ezio and French. He can't dive fast enough onto it. In fact, dives a bit too quickly into the ball there. And now again, Levin Valley down by two. Backboard, and there goes Escav. Or Guillermo trying to get down, but almost gets the block. Frenchie redirect, great play there from Frenchie. The pass was very solid as well, all the way down from Samus. Frenchie recognizing the pass, getting a perfect timing. Finally, again, back on the board. But not only do they need to tie this up, they need to find a way to get back into the lead. They've been playing from behind all game long. Escav trying to get a touch over Frenchie, but we'll take that one. Ezio out to Lord Guillermo, not a big touch onto it. Can't put a proper shot on target. It's Frenchie trying to bully this one through. It'll be Lord Guillermo, ends up pitching it backwards. Let's it go over to Ezio. Gets bumped though, good bump there from London Valley, but Ezio still on ball. No boost, but gets a steal. Bump in net, almost a goal. Should have been a goal, but Frenchie making a hero play there. Just barely getting back, but again, Ezio in a dangerous position. Lord Guillermo now trying to get that one on target. Machette's up to Frenchie, gets it there, but not on target. Now that one put on from Samus, doesn't get the shot though. We had Ezio with the save. Ezio just doing everything right now for Cincinnati. Guillermo being that aggressor on the bumps, on the demos. As Samus now looking again for Frenchie. Pass should be intercepted once more. Ends up being a 50, but Pichette's off the backboard. Big touch out from Cincinnati. Finally getting out of their half after about 30, 40 seconds just stuck there. Samus though looking to continue that exact possession. Guillermo sends it away. Cincinnati just needs to hold on to this lead, but LBC have finally been turning back on the burners. They still need a goal though. Ezio all the way across. Doesn't have anyone in the midfield for him. Shuts downfield. Again, Eleven Valley having a lot of these big touches, letting the ball get away from them. I feel a lot of the time they were doing great work on their solo plays and just not really allowing that to happen. Here, Cincinnati just really stifling any pressure that Eleven Valley has been able to bring so far. But an attempted save from Ezio, and I don't know if he got there or not. May have just end up hitting the crossbar. But with just 10 seconds left, Escav trying to hold it away. Samus 50ing out mid. Lord Guillermo just trying to put another one on for insurance, but this should be another Cincinnati victory. Ezio getting it around the corner. Ball cannot hit the ground for London Valley. And it'll do just that. Cincinnati now taking the lead in the series. And I don't think a single person could have expected this out of the series. And looking again at the shots, it's really pretty much even. As you can see, 8-9 from London Valley, 10 from Cincinnati. But again, it's that saves category. And I, I can't even say that because six saves come out from London Valley. And it's only four 
coming out from Cincinnati. So really, it, this is the type of game you would expect, but probably going the other way. Now in the game four, Cincinnati can put themselves on series point. They can put themselves on grand finals point and take this one away from LVC. Ezio again on ball. LVC has been doing, has been struggling a lot to control the pressure, especially of Ezio. Simply just has been on top of the ball pretty much at all times. And that's really been working for the side of Cincinnati. Lord Guillermo getting a double. Now that's popped right up in front of the net. Machetes needs to get a big touch here, and he does just that. Frenchie, though, going to get met. And that's what Cincinnati has been excelling at, contesting the ball. Escav trying to put that one on, but it ought to be Ezio again. This man has been incredible for the Bearcats. Really, the only player on this roster that I feel is giving LVC a challenge is the other two not having to do a whole lot. Escav simply playing that supporting role and Guillermo just playing, again, that, that bump heavy role. You're simply just tossing people out of the way, contesting the ball, and again, that's all he's really doing. He really hasn't been on the ball basically at all. It's been simply the Ezio shell. And that's what's worked for the side of, or for the side of Cincinnati. London Valley have had no answers all day since game number one. Demo there from Guillermo. Again, holding that LVC push back. And LVC just have no solutions right now. They almost look a bit lost on what they want to do. Simply getting out rotated as well. Samus getting a 50 out mid, but again, it's Ezio on ball. Shuts down to Samus here once more. But the big touches. Just a lot of the time not working out well for Lepton Valley. Just haven't been able to get much going off. But Bichette's whiffs there. Almost gets scary, but Samus will control it. Frenchie just has to let Escav get that touch. Pass downfield. Again, just wide open nets. And I'm not even sure where that rotation was either from whoever the third was there as Bichette should have had a 50 in that spot as well, and just doesn't get it. A 2-0 lead for Cincinnati. Demo comes through. Frenchy off the backboard, hands it to Bichette, but can't get the shot on target. Now 1v1, Escav, Samus. Won't go to Samus' way. Pinch attempt there from LVC. I don't think it was quite one, but it was pretty close. Demo comes through. Shets trying to send it down, but doesn't really have a lot of boost to work with. As a ripper of a shot on from Samus, almost gets the goal, but not quite. That was one they desperately needed. Lord Guillermo going for a solo. Doesn't really have the dribble there. Escav not gonna get there either. Here comes Ezio though. Gets the demo. That's all he really needed, but maybe not. Frenchie had the backboard. Doesn't get anything off of it. And again, they're stuck in their own half. Ezio just doing everything for the Cincinnati roster. Not to say the other two aren't doing much, but simply Ezio has just been the guy on ball at all times. His rotation's just a bit faster than the rest of the squad. That's a double beat there for Samus, but he can't get that second touchdown field. It'll have to be Bichette's trying to send it out mid, but right in front of Lord Guillermo. This one goes down to Escav. And that's a great shot from Lord Guillermo. Takes the pass, but Frenchie again for the save. Ezio going for a reset, but Demo also onto the player, and net doesn't quite work out. London Valley trying to get something here. Jets off the backboard. Lord Guillermo not getting much out. But again, passing game on target. Frenchie a little bit off on the shot. Didn't quite get all of it, the ball he wanted. Now off the backboard again. Frenchie though can't put it on. And that is a tough one for LVC. They needed 
a goal there. They had a few opportunities and just none of them landing. Ezio now looking for something. Lord Guillermo gonna get the shot on target and put it through the back of the net. And this is scary hours if you're Lebanon Valley. This is a team you didn't struggle a lot with in the regular season. You're now getting slaughtered by them in the grand finals. A team that did not look like they were gonna be able to do a whole lot in the grand scheme of things, but now have shut Lebanon Valley down. They basically put no co goals in the back of the net in this series almost at all. Finally, something there. Bichette gets the goal off the pass, but which is 27 seconds. Not a lot of time to get this game in your favor. Bichette's setting this one up to Frenchie. Down to the midfield, Bichette can't get there. Samus just needs a touch here, doesn't get it. Lord Guillermo up to Escav, shot on target, but Frenchie gets back. But with just 10 seconds, it shouldn't really matter as Lebanon Valley gonna go down three to one. And this is going to be series point for Cincinnati. A very unexpected result as Cincinnati one game away from shutting this series down. Ezio, again, it's been the Ezio show all series long. Five shots, only one goal, but it doesn't really matter when you're on the ball all the time, making everything just that much harder for LVC. Four demos as well to his name, or Guillermo, also matching that same stat line, at least in terms of the demos category. Only had two shots to his name, but doesn't really need a lot of them as he's hitting, he went two for two in that game. LVC, they need to dig deep. Whatever they have left in them, this is your last game of the semester. Give everything that you have in you right here, right now. You gotta win three straight against this team. To call yourselves the Nace Farsi plus East 3 champions. Or East 4, sorry. East 3 I think was last semester. Bichette sending that one away early. Just letting it go. Samus gets it downfield. Counts as a shot, but again, Guillermo there. Demo again from Ezio. Frenchie has to just go up high for this one. Let it go down to Ezio. Whiffs on the ball. A lot of whiffing coming out. And that's going to lead to a Bichette goal. Finally, LVC have found themselves in a lead for the first time since game number one. It takes a big whiff for Ezio. Lord Guillermo cannot get back. I'm not sure what happens there, but regardless, that's exactly what Lebanon Valley needed. Samus now sending it down to Frenchie. Just waiting for a player to go for it. And that is the smart play from your captain. Two to zero. And now Lebanon Valley finally showing some life. Just a smart play there from Frenchie. Knows exactly what's coming his direction. Flips his car, just floats there waiting for the moment that ball gets touched and he gets it straight past. The demo comes through, but Bichette's the one on ball off back for Frenchie again. Three to zero, LVC now firing. But they're gonna have to keep this pace up for another two straight games. And they have to finish out this one with the lead. If they wanna have a chance. It will have to come through a game seven. Demos come through, but Bichette's again, the one on ball finally. Lebanon Valley finding the winning formula. As Frenchie gets a bad touch there, but it still goes back to Samus on target. Escav though, getting the save. Cincinnati need to get back on track here. Just need to stay on schedule. So Bichette sends it downfield. Escav again, launching it at that Lenda Valley net, forcing someone defensively to push out, and now that opens the window of opportunity. For Guillermo, sending it out mid. Bichette gets 50, and that's a big one for Cincinnati. They may get some pressure here, but they have to come off the back of Etsy out. He's not really able to get much out of it. 
Just a couple big touches towards the ceiling. As Lord Guillermo sent it up to the net. Again though, Bichette's coming in defensively. Castillo gonna try to carry this one around. Showing that he has the ability to do just that. Guillermo gets a very light touch and Samus will capitalize, stealing it away finally. LVC looking much, much better. Finally, they've figured something out here. Can Cincinnati get the adjustment, the counter adjustment to the counter of Lebanon Valley? With 2.45 on the clock, Lebanon Valley are in prime position to close this one out. Samus has to backtrack for this one. Escav chasing but runs out of boost. Just narrowly evading the demo there is Samus and possibly even a goal. As now Frenchy sending that one up, looks for the double, doesn't get it. Samus trying to slot it through two defenders, can't get that one through either. Bump doesn't, or actually does come through for Frenchy onto Guillermo. Escav. Getting much on that. Ezio looking for the pass to his teammate. Samus is here, but so is Bachetz. As a whiff from Escav, gonna give LVC possession. Samus looking for bumps on the goal line. Bachetz looking for the shot, doesn't get there in time. Now Samus will dribble it around, looking possibly to go coast to coast here. As the ball on the ground, makes a man miss. Can he get the second to? No, but here comes Bachetz now, runs out of boost. Leaves it up for Frenchie off the backboard. Still no one there. Finally, Samus. A bang, bang play. Finally, LVC breakthrough there. Five to zero. And this one is certainly one for LVC. Getting themselves back into it, but they still need to win another to force game seven, then need to win game seven. But if this is any indication, a very good look for LVC. Team looking much stronger. Lord Guillermo again, a light touch. LVC doing a great job of isolating Ezio, keeping him away from the ball. That's really why Cincinnati was so successful. They're forcing, or Ezio was forcing himself onto the ball, allowing himself to get so much control that he was basically taking over, forcing the teammates of Ezio to make plays. It's just maybe the winning formula against Cincinnati here. Ezio just so controlled and so mechanical on the ball. Really just has every opportunity. Put it through on his own, but now he needs his teammates more, now more than ever. As finally he gets one on target, but somehow again, Frenchie getting back. And that is a fantastic save. And with just 30 seconds left, LVC keeping themselves alive here. Cincinnati at least looking for something momentum-wise to get themselves back into the, into the flow of it. Still have a big cushion. Here comes Ezio. Not a great touch, though. Gets it down to Lord Guillermo, but really just doesn't have anyone near him. Escap rotated back already, and that's a pass down from French. He doesn't get it. Because now to go down to the final second, Samus will let that hit the ground. And LVC are back into it. They have dug themselves into a bit of a hole here. Very much though potential, if that's an indication of anything, a lot of potential for LVC to get something going here. That save category racking up even more now. Demos, six in total from Cincinnati. Still keeping that demo category up to what they have been doing. Again, aggression, the, the key of this entire series. And that's a bit of an unfortunate kickoff. Ezio not gonna get the touch, but obviously not in a position to capitalize, at least just yet. Sam is trying to get something here, but again, Lord Guillermo doing all the bumping that he needs to. Bichette's off the wall, over to Samus, down to Frenchy, and another phenomenal passing play. And in game six, Lebanon Valley looking to force it to seven. Make it, wanted to make this look like the NBA Finals if it was actually good.
4.42 on the clock, just 18 seconds for that first goal to come through. Now Bichette's on the solo, can't get that, that final touch towards the net, but that's also an immensely tough angle to score from. Ezio though, the one on ball, Bichette's flying back, sorry, I misread every single player on the LBC roster there. As again, Ezio really starting to cool down. He's having a lot of whiffage, and that's not something that was really characteristic of him, at least early on in the series. And even last week, this is a player that's 1,800, someone that should be not, that shouldn't be missing the ball ever, essentially. He's been starting to struggle a little bit here. LBC have really been forcing him to make as many plays on his own as he can, and this is another one of those. But again, Frenchy trying to keep him out of it, finally. Cincinnati, after giving up, I believe, seven or eight straight goals, getting back on the board, and it couldn't come at possibly a, a bigger moment, unless if we would consider game seven that, just that. Now, this is where the series starts, ladies and gentlemen, despite there only being the possibility of two more games left. We're now seeing the best of both worlds, best of both teams. Frenchy all the way down to Sam's Ezio counters. Now looking for a bump on the player towards net. That'll be Escap though, getting around. Sam is now going to look out mid, but Lord Guillermo, speedy on the defensive touch. Bichette's overshooting it a little bit. Now has to back up. Lord Guillermo just doing what he can to stay on ball. Frenchy has to leave this one up to Sam. This gets beat by Ezio, but Bichette's wisely back. Escap though, does he give enough time? Bichette's just barely getting enough time for Frenchy to get back. Also gets the demo. Ezio on this one, sending it downfield. Samus didn't have boost, so wisely decides to back down, give himself a chance defensively, and that's exactly why he's done that play. Now he's getting it downfield too. For Guillermo, up for Cincinnati, gets the 50. Ezio, massive 50 there. But again, Samus on ball, but here comes Escaf, wide open net. Cincinnati in the lead. Now in the danger zone for Lebanon Valley. Game number six, down two to one. Have a lot of time to make this up though. Demo there. That's a big demo. As it gives Samus possession downfield. Looks for the shot, doesn't get anything on that. As now Frenchy sending it down to Bichette's. Good contest, that could have been a dangerous one there from Cincinnati. Bichette, or sorry, Sam is trying to get that one down to his teammates. Still getting some light touches around. Is Bichette able to get there in time? No. Now it's sent all the way out to Ezio, but he missed touches back a little bit. And look at who's there, Frenchie the captain. He is simply just faster, two to two. And that back touch from Ezio gives Frenchie everything he needs. Look at the speed from Frenchie onto that ball. Those are the sorts of plays you need to see from him. As Frenchie and Etio really start to go at it. Samus, big touch to the sidewall. Escap though, Etio on, not quite on target. Up on the backboard, Frenchie though again with the save. Has been showing out in grand fashion. That's Gav. Right. To give Cincinnati a lead once again. Lord Gamma, though, another back touch. Cannot have that. You have to be careful. Frenchy Ezio now leaving it up for Bichette. Has no boost. Still keeping it in that orange half, though. That's the important thing. Can LVC capitalize? And look at this. It's water falling in front of the net, but Ezio fast enough. Just too slow on the waterfall to make much out of it. Bichette, though, again, off that backboard. This is where you start to get nervous if you're a fan on either side. Samus down to Frenchy, down to Bichette. That's a big touch downfield. Is there anything left to go with it? Escap up. Contesting Samus, bumping him out of the way. Who's on this one? It's Ezio, of course. Samus just has to dodge the bump, but now demo onto Bichette. Samus has to be very careful defensively. Frenchy gets back. Guillermo looking for a pass over to Escaf, does get it, Ezio, but Frenchy intercepts. 
Good intercept there from Frenchy. Can Ezio get a good touch out? At least has Lord Guillermo down. Ezio looking for something here. And that's Lord Guillermo putting it in the back of the net. Cincinnati, one goal lead. This could be it. Just 34 seconds. LVC need to force an overtime. This is where legacies are made. This is where diamonds are cut. Just 30 seconds on the clock, Ezio. That's contested. The Jets trying to get a bump onto the player in net. He does, but has to back away for this ball. Frenchy trying to get around. Samus is here, but again, Ezio contesting. LVC have an opportunity, but Escaf sending that one away. If you're Cincinnati, just get this one away. Get this one out of your own half. Close it out here. The ball cannot touch the ground. Escaf, huge 50, and that has just done it. Cincinnati will take the upset. Take the series over Lebanon Valley. As they will be your nascent varsity plus East four champions. Four to two over Lebanon Valley. Just coming up just short there. Six shots from Escav, by the way, in that one.